Good morning and welcome to the next podcast of Annie Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. You're expecting this morning to see a little podcast with Nicholas Sharp from uh, just up the road there in Purley with his lovely collection of Sussex and Ranji Shinji and all sorts of other bits and pieces. Uh, but unfortunately that went pear shaped this week and we we're unable to do that. So um, we've now booked it in again for a couple of weeks time. So um, we're just going to go through a few bits today. Um, of the uh, final bits in the one of the albums for the postcards and things that just turned up this week so onwards and upwards um, Cricket Society News Bulletin the February March uh, Bulletin which is all very interesting and I promise you I will send off my membership for it if anybody from the Cricket Society is watching um, run out of checks unfortunately so um, I have to get online and stuff next time so uh, it's on its way uh, very interesting bits and pieces in there. One with an interview with Wayne Larkins, which was quite uh, quite a thing. I remember him getting the winning runs in the West Indies to beat the West Indies over there. I think it was 2000, I think. But uh, great shot. I think it was a cover drive, I think, that he managed to get the winning runs on. With Alex Stewart batting up the other end. Anyway, so that's a Cricket Society news bulletin. And the next thing that turned up this week was a J.W. McKenzie catalogue. All sorts of fantastic bits and pieces in here. Catalogue number 208, which you haven't got all the other 207. Um, there's all sorts of bits and pieces in here, from books to autographs, postcards, uh, great selection. So um, get yourself on the uh, posting list for uh, John McKenzie down there in uh, Yule. Uh, great um, bits and pieces in there. So anyway, just going to go back to this... Um, well, this album here, which is uh, keep these postcards in, which has got the um, West Indies, New Zealand, India, and a bit of Pakistan in there as well. So I'll start with a um, couple here. This one is the Pakistan side from 1964, 1954 there, Pakistan. That's the only Pakistan one I've got, but it's a nice postcard. Um, correspondence, no. No maker on there, just got with greetings and best wishes. So, quite a nice postcard there. The Pakistan is 54. Um, just above there is um, the South African team 1929, again in their Jaeger uniforms, jumpers, and what have you. Uh, Jaeger cricket outfit, and that's 352 to 354 Oxford Street. Uh, that one is 1929 South African team. Um, so going across here now to India, 1932, obviously the first team to come to uh, England. And there's a few signatures on the back of there from the 1952, that's 1932 side. So that's quite a nice um, postcard there. Difficult to read the old uh, Indian signatures, I've got to say. Um, it's always nice to have the name by the side of them, but... Um, there we are there with some signatures on the back. I mean, if you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So not quite the full set there, but a uh, nice one anyway. And then this one is a, uh, a new postcard. It's when Douglas Jardine, the first tour after Bodyline, was captain to India. And that's, now you do there, the captain of India on that postcard, which is a... Uh, which is this one, nostalgic one, I think it's just called. Um, D.R. Jardine, Oxford University and Surrey, um, which is the main one on there. So sort of back on there, look, it's uh, W.G. Grace. Um, that's quite a new, newish postcard, I imagine 70, something like that, perhaps. I'm just going to turn the page in, 32 again there. What have we got here? This is the, you know, what's the 32 again? So... That's the wrong one. This is the next one we need to see. Which is 36 Indians. Indian, all India cricket team, England 1936. Um, that's a Norvik Mill real photo card on the back there. That's got a nice postcard there of the Indians, 1936. Obviously, wartime was uh, looming. Um, it's down near South Africa. 1955 South Africa side there, and cracking one in there with their blazers there. That's really nice, that one. And we're going to go, we're going to go here. Another South African team here, 
1924. So we're getting to the end now. This is an Adams and Co. Uh, 44 Bristol Street, Birmingham. This is a postcard of uh, 24 South Africans there. Uh, moving on, we have done those last week, and there's the next one here of a New Zealand team. It was 1937. Well, that's set of signatures for those, which is quite nice. A bit of rusting going on the top there. Um, what have we got there? No, no manufacturer on that one. It's got British British manufacturer on that one. Um, nothing on the front either. That's the Aussies. Uh, New Zealand team, we showed that one last week. And this one here, this is actually a photograph I took when I was on tour in uh, West Indies. This is at the Queen's Park Oval. And that is a photograph that was hanging on the wall. 1955 West Indian team against Australia. Which, uh, quite a nice picture of that. And a great backdrop there of the scoreboard and the mountains in the back. I think the British... British uh, consoles over here somewhere as well. So um, I've got a funny feeling Derek Edge actually hit one over that stand. He used to play for Falcon. He was a coach at um, West Indies or Adelaide Queen's Park Oval. And we're moving on here again. What have we got here? This is another sort of West Indies team. 1950. This one. If, uh, what have we got there? Uh, Frank Warren, three W's there, all in there. That's quite a nice postcard. That's Bridge House Real Photo Series with greetings. That one. And this is a lovely old photograph here, postcard here of Badge of the West Indies 1923, which is a lovely postcard there. And that is actually Orion. Those, that star formation there is Orion. It says so on the back here, and it was done by. Uh, if I can read it properly, Allergen Aspirin, Aspinall, sorry, beg your pardon, CMG. And that's a F Raphael Tuck postcard printed in England. So quite a nice uh, original postcard there of the uh, badge of the West Indies in 1923. Um, what else have we got here? Just a couple more to go. West Indies Potential Cup 1975. Not a bad side. Um, this one is published by the Stamp Publicity at Worthing. So quite a nice postcard there of uh, the World Cup boys. Um, just a single one here of C.B. Clark, a Cindy's player. A um, little bit of a naughty boy, but uh, there we are. Um, some of us like that, but uh, that was the West Indies, play West Indies 1939 tour. Um, have we got any more in here? Here's a couple. Well, no, that's about it, I think. So that sort of more or less finished off that um, uh, postcard album there. So onwards and upwards. Um, so that'll do for this week, and I'll hopefully see you on the next one. Uh, not sure what's going to happen next week. Uh, someone did suggest that I did uh, individual tours uh, with bits and pieces on, um, but I have done a few of those before, so might change that a bit and, uh, and do that again. So um, we'll go from there. Okay, enjoy. Cheers. See you on the next one.